Hey guys, Jason Kills 32 here. I'm coming to you with another board game review. Today we'll be talking about Firefly. It's pretty sweet. I do enjoy it. Um, with Firefly, the game it is it says it's about two four players. It says it takes two hours. Probably the first time I played, it took three hours. It wasn't that bad. Um, we probably made it go on longer than we did just because we wanted to explore as much as we could and just kind of have fun with it. Everything from the game looks really cool. It's done by Gale Force 9, same people did Spartacus, the board game. It's also another very cool board game. We'll go through a lot of the mechanics of the game and we'll go through some of the actual, just, well, we'll go through all the components of the game. Everything in the game is really cool. You each get it. A tile ship. And it's very important. It tells you which which ship you control, which they're all just different versions of Serenity. And then you got your your other ships and your little reaver with the broken wing. Pretty cool. Put it on there. It's gonna tell you your cargo hold and your stash hold. Your stash hold is cargo that you can put in here if you get boarded by the alliance. Um, they can't find it, and so that's very important later on in the game. But if your main cargo hold is going to control all your your fuel and your parts to make sure you can make it through your journey. Um, it's going to give you all the basic information too. Um, it's going to tell you which everybody does start off with the same drive, and but it just makes it look kind of cool. <laughs> But it gives you several different options through cards to actually upgrade your drive and go through there. Because if you're going through max speed the whole time, it will cost you resources and you need to go and collect them to be able to deliver the cargo necessary. Each goal will have an objective. That's how I get these open again. The storage for this box is really nice too. It's really good. Let's see which one we do. So we did Crime Does Pay. End the game with 15 grand or more. The money in this game is really cool. But basically, yeah, this right here, the card, it will give you an objective, how to set up the game, um, what to do on your turn, and winning the game. It'll, it kind of gives a little narrative to the game. There are several different ones. There are six of these. And then, you know, each one you can choose, you know, three different goals on each one so there's a little bit of variation with it it's definitely deserved an expansion just so you can go through more of that and especially if you play the game a lot which you may because it's pretty fun it's not nearly as heavy to hit your table let's say as Battlestar there's no real trading mechanics but it's not a cooperative game you know everybody's out for themselves in this game but the paper money it's just it's gorgeous show it to you here in a second and I'll give you a better look of it. I'm going to go with overview of parts. Uh, yeah, that's good enough. But each of it looks really nice. I'm not a fan of paper money. But if you're going to do it this way, you do it. I thought all of them were really cool. Unless you feel like you're getting something. And it does set with the, you know, the, I don't know, I can't remember. You don't, don't murder me. Don't respond me. If it was Japanese or Chinese from Serenity. I don't remember what they all derive from, from their com country. Sorry. But basically you start off your deck of your captain. And then you hire your crew. Every time that you... Take your cargo from one space to the other board to the other space to where you need to go to deliver the shipment. Um, you can choose to pay off the crew a keeper money. If you don't pay them off, you give them two tokens. Well, you give them one token each time. If it gets two tokens, the, the crew member comes to Scarlet and leaves. Um, there's quite a bit in the board game. You can actually get uh, have a warrant issued out for your arrest so if the Alliance ship comes across and ever catches you and can screw you over in the game. There's a lot of, um, this is weird. I actually used one of my sons 
and it's got these little dinosaur pieces. I found one looks just like this, and we use it. Even though it's a stupid thing, you give this to whoever has to turn. But now it's kind of cool. I have a little dinosaur just running around the table. It makes no sense, and it's I don't know how it relates to it. Maybe I should, even though I've seen every bit of Firefly and Serenity, and I don't remember a dinosaur. Tell me if I'm wrong. Um, but I'll bring the camera down and we'll go through the different cards and everything in the game. And then I'll end it and I'll tell you what I thought of the game. It's, you know, I'll go ahead and tell you something now. It, it's pretty positive. Here's some things that could be fixed on it. Um, but, yeah, like this takes a lot more effort than this. Which this adds a lot better fill and flavor. But we'll talk about that with the theme and everything in this game. Um, it's probably just partial to I like that series better than this series. I enjoy this series. I love this series. But we'll go back over that in a second. Let's go over parts overview. Okay, let's go over component overview. And there's a few different ways to... Well, no, there's one straightforward way to do this. I'm sorry, I misspoke. Let's see, there's a glare on that. Let me see if I can fix it. This is the card for the Serenity ship. This is the ship. These are the little tokens that you get. I think they look nice. And basically, what happens is you take your token and on your drive core, it tells you how many spaces you can go. Now, if you move that, you have to actually pay the fuel from your cargo bay to move that many spaces, or you can go one space on the board and it co not cost you anything. And also, it can also just ca cause uh, the reaver to move towards people who are in its direction if you actually burn. And then you would have to pull one of the border space cards. Now if you're in the alliance space, the same effect would happen. And basically going in and out of the board, you're going to be pulling cards for each part of space that you're in. You're going to be pulling these and it'll tell you, you know, keep flying or keep flying or live. There we go. Something bad would happen. Reaver on board and see, look. And it will tell you the, the positive and the negative. What you do is you pull jobs from each set of the different characters from the show. You can choose any of these you want. Now, there's the strategy where if you pull it around the same area of space and you just can kind of keep hitting up those same areas for the jobs now you can go after bigger money jobs um, I want to say this if you're out for a race for money don't go with any of the legal which it's you know it's just not worth it there you get like 900 versus 3,000. You make a lot more money doing illegal jobs. It's actually really impossible to win the game legally. And then from those you can take your money and you can spend it on things like different crew from each part of the deck. Am I going to pull up? Well, see there's River. Yep. And then you can do buy different items. another one let me see what else oh that's the aim to misbehave deck another randomization or you can get a fake ID see if you have a fake ID and you want it you can get through space a lot easier you do have to roll for combat and battle they have the nice little Serenity emblem on there. 
these. All the artwork is really cool. These are, like I said, uh, the little adventures you can go through. And on each one they tell you how long it is. Some of them are longer than others. Or they all set two hours. Never mind. So I guess the first one is an hour and you're supposed to play it by yourself. We played it with friends. Kind of a race to the most money. And there's the money pile. I know it's all organized and cast, but you know, my table's full. We've been gaming all weekend. At least it's getting used, right? But that's pretty much basics for the components. You also get these Reaver and Alliance contact sheets. These are the different ones. is in here somewhere. There's the Alliance ship. So all the components are very nice. The game's very nice. The rule book's pretty easy to follow. So what I'm going to do is head back home to the other side and tell you what I thought, what I liked, what I didn't like when playing this game. Alright. Thanks. Alright. Maybe it's getting better. I don't know. Maybe I still don't know what I'm talking about. Firefly, what do we think of it? The group really enjoyed it. I think uh, they all had a good time playing Firefly. We all enjoyed seeing all the different characters from the show. And if you get somebody from the main cast or crew, you're like, oh, that's great. Um, I played it on my birthday. So I played Serenity and I got Malcolm because I want to be a greedy little bitch on my birthday. The components are very nice to this game. Um, the quality of everything and just the artwork on the deck and everything's super nice. You know, it seems like Gale Force 9 been putting a lot of attention into their games. Which typically that company, you know, to me, when I always saw the company before, I always thought about Flock and things for making you know, terrain and different, you know, war gaming maps. Or me, I like makeup. D and D train. I always think that adds a nice little character to everything. Um, but their board games have been very fun. You know, it's just a good old fashioned fun to mirror trash game. And it says thirteen and up. I think it's probably just because there's some violence. I guess a little bit in the game, but you know, if you have kids, um, I would say nine to ten and up is fine. Especially if you got them into the show and they can enjoy it because it's you know it's lighthearted, campy show. There's some you know tragedies stuff like that, but it's nothing I wouldn't let you know my son sit down and watch if he was like, hey dad, I've never seen Firefly. Let's watch Firefly. So you know then you could you know, play the board game and they would enjoy it. Um, the theme. It's a little more of a smuggling game, um, with the you know without these and stuff like that, and it, you know nobody got really hurt off by these. It wasn't that big of a deal. Not me. I I, I try to play it legal the whole time. I still lost, so don't do that, you'll lose. Um, but it's um. I lost where I was going, sorry about that. But the game itself, it was the theme. Oh yeah, I was on the theme. You know, there's not a lot of the joking aroundness of this. This is probably more geared, I think, to the movie. Where I thought the movie took a little more of a serious impact. Because, you know, you can lose your crew, you can lose everything and screw people over and stuff like that. This definitely more probably closer to Serenity than the actual TV show. Um, dealing with all the the different traders and you know going through the decks, collecting the missions and all that. That was kind of cool. Um, will this one stay in there for a while? I don't know. I don't think it's something I'll play. You know, like every week, dude. We got to hit this game to the table. But I can see us pulling it out maybe once a month, which that's pretty good. I can see us pulling out maybe once a month and hitting it up just, you know, for kicks. 
Um, like I said, it's easier to hit up than this. A lot easier to hit up than this. But your experience with this is probably more rewarding over time. Um, just a trader mechanic, and if you get to be the trader, um, I think that that throws in some really fun, you know, because I always get really mad when I'm not the trader, and I know the traders out there, and they're trying to, you know, they're, you're, we're all going down, and I know just deep down somebody's over there is like, yeah, I'm going to win the game because I'm screwing them over. That really takes me off that it's not me that's doing that and I'm not in that position at the time. <laughs> it does. But this is more of a everybody out to get their own kind of thing. I like the the movement. I like um, you know, using the the little tokens on there and if you you have to, you know, kind of manage manage your resources. And I, I, I actually enjoy stuff like that in games. I like uh when they put different aspects of resource management in games, that's definitely in this game. You have to play your cards right, you have to manage your resources right, you have to make sure you're going after the right quest line. Now, if you're playing illegally, you get a warrant issued for you. Um, you know, there's a lot of bad stuff that can happen to you if you're playing illegally, but it's going to be far better for you and greater over time to do that and be able to get away you know get away with murder basically because you can you can stack up money quick let's see because that one's what 2500 3500 I mean 1800 that's a small one I mean these those are all and that's a legal job so you know but if you're playing straight from the Alliance you're not getting anything under $900 but if you play from here you get some legal ones that are higher but most of those illegal ones are the ones that you're going to want to hit up, and it, they made it almost impossible to play this game illegally. Um, the boards, I, I like the solar system and the movement of the board. I think maybe the art could have been a little better, but everything is a little laid out. It, it did take me a minute whenever I would get a card, and I would have to kind of find the area but it's probably just because it was, it was a new game and some of the stuff just kind of blends in with other stuff and I didn't I didn't care for that but um it's not you know like I don't know I guess I compare everything to like some some game boards are just a lot easier to understand like Battle Stars a lot easier to understand Relic even having everything going on is a lot easier to understand because everything's laid out for you but this one, since you have to look for locations and put them on there, and it could be on the other end of the board, it could take a minute. So, I, did, I didn't care for that, but it's only probably because it's a new game for me. Um, but that pretty much sums it up. I don't know what I gave it on Board Game Geek. I don't even think I've rated it yet, so let's rate it now. I'm going to give this a 7.5 for Board Game Geek. I think it's a good solid game. It's not the best game by far. I think Spartacus is probably a little better than this. Um, just because they have the bidding system in there and then you can fight fight it out in the arena. And if, you know, even though you're not fighting in the arena, you can bet on it and that just keeps you excited and in the game a little better. That's kind of cool. And it's a completely different theme. This series is definitely better. But... Firefly, Firefly is definitely a better show, I think, than Spartacus. Even though, you know, apples and oranges, sci-fi and fantasy. But it all blends together to me, because I enjoy all of it. Probably do enjoy fantasy more. But sci-fi shows really... You gotta step, you know... Fantasy shows have to step it up. Um, with the exception of Game of Thrones, which is wonderful. Um, but yeah, that's, that's, that's pretty much... That's pretty much it for today. If you like the video, subscribe to my channel. Tell me what you think. Um, I know I'll go on too long, and you're probably not even here yet. If you are here yet, thank you for being here. And I hope I 
helps you all decide whether or not you want to buy the game or not. Because at the end of the day, this hobby is expensive. And it's, you know, when I buy something, I really want to know what's inside of it, how it's played, if I'm going to enjoy it or not, how it is going to be able to bring it to the table, to the group, and how it is, you know, just value-wise. This is just worth my time. Um, so, I mean, those are all really hard things, you know, is this something the group enjoys, do I enjoy it, and the price, is it worth it? And I think this game's worth the money. Um, I bought worse games for this money. Actually, I got this as a gift, but this is something I was going to buy, and when I went to buy it, it was under there on the list, do not let Jason buy this game. He got it for his birthday. <laughs> so, um... But yeah, yeah, I, th I think this is well worth the money. Um, enjoy board games. And like I said, this that's the reason I do it, because I want to know what's inside of it. And, you know, I know that other reviewers do it too, but, you know, I kind of like to let you know what you're getting into before you get a game. Alright, well, thank you guys. Jason Kills 32 again here, and I hope y'all enjoyed. And if this looks like it's up your alley, buy it. Thank you, and good night.